Hello friends, in this video we are going to implement crude operations in AngularJS with MVC. We have divided this tutorial into multiple parts as time required to implement crude operation is quite long. So we have divided a single video into multiple videos. So in the first part of the videos, we are going to create a new project. We will refer the required AngularJS scripts and then we will implement a basic AngularJS app to render a single page. In the part 2, we are going to implement server-side controller, model and entity frameworks code first approach so that whatever data we are getting it from Angular form, then we are going to save it to the database. In the part 3, we are going to create a factory to interact with the server-side controller. We are going to create various partials and respective controllers to the partials and also respective routes to render the partials. In the part 4, we are going to wire different components and we'll see if there are any bugs or exceptions we are going to resolve them and we'll have application walkthrough now in the far fifth part in the last part we are going to improve the design and style with bootstrap now to give you the rough idea in brief we are going to have a main page we are going to name it as player list and by the way we are going to use player as our entity as an example and on the main page we are going to have a grid so in that grid we are going to show all the players in the database the grid will have edit and delete link on edit you will be redirected to edit page from there you can update the player on click of delete the player will be de deleted from the ui as well as from the database and there will be a add button on click of which you will be redirected to add page and from there you can add the player so this is the brief idea about what we are going to achieve through all these five videos. Now coming to the first part, we are going to create a new project. We will refer the AngularJS files and we will implement a basic AngularJS app. So let's start. So I have a Visual Studio 2013 and let's create a new project. And I'm going to name this project as Crude Demo. And we are going to create empty MVC app because in the future we are going to have entity framework code first approach and also MVC controller. So now we don't want this view folders. So we will be having our own folder structure. So this is basically the folder structure of an empty project in MVC. So we are going to add one new folder which we are going to name as scripts. So this script folder will have all the scripts necessary for our angular app so to the script folder first we are going to add angular js scripts so i have already downloaded them so if you want to download so you have to go to google search angular js and go to the first link so this is the official site of angular js on the home page click on this download button so a window will appear so you can either copy the CDN to use it into the application or else you can download the files. So we have already downloaded it. So I have used those files in other projects. So I'll be fetching them from the other project. So the other project is this Angular form demo and I'll be picking it from the scripts folder. So these are the two files Angular min and Angular route.min. Now the third file, the third JS file we are going to have in our application is the app file which will declare our app to the angular js so we are going to name it as app.js and here we are going to declare our main module so basically we are using modular structure and we are going to name this as crude demo app and we have to specify the dependencies in our array so the first dependency will be crude demo app dot controllers so in this model we are module sorry we are going to have all the controllers used for the application and the second dependency is the ng route so this dependency or this module we require for implementing routing and this dependency will be provided by angular itself and this dependency or module we have to create by ourselves so let's create that as well so we are going to have that module in separate javascript file so we will create controllers.js and here we are going to define that module let me copy the name 
and to this module we don't have any dependency so I am supplying empty array and I'll use controller constructor to specify the name of the controller so my controller name is main controller and to this controller I'm going to pass anonymous function and to this function we are going to pass scope object scope is basically the view model of the controller or the view then to the scope object we are going to set message property and the message will be main controller okay now the basic module that is crude demo app.control is also ready now we are going to add one HTML page which will be a single page to the application so let me add one HTML page and we are going to name it as crude demo app dot HTML okay we misspelled the name so let me correct it yeah uh, let me update its title as well now to this head tag we are going to refer all or we are going to reference all these script files so let me drag and drop inside head now we want this HTML page to connect to our model which we have created so in order to do that we have to use a directive at body level so we are connecting it to body level because inside body itself we are going to declare all our markup so we are going to use ng app directive and we are going to specify the name of our main module so this will connect the body tag to our main module and inside this body tag we are going to have a div element and we are going to connect this div element to controller which we have created so in order to do that we are going to use ng controller directive and we will name specify the name of our controller that is main controller let me confirm the name yes and as you see we have specified or declared a property that is message and we have set that property so we are going to render the same property here on our view okay now if you view this single page in the browser you'll see the main controller message shown on the UI okay there is some problem controller okay we misspelled the controller here so let's refresh it again you can see now it's, it's working but there's one problem now if you see here this div is tightly coupled to this main controller now if in future we have four to five views so we cannot have all those views in the same body tag inside this body tag so in order to separate them in a logical manner we are going to implement a placeholder here so this body tag will act as a layout and this div will act as a placeholder and everything the other partials I mean the views implemented in partials will render inside this div so in order to achieve that structure we are going to use one directive that is ng view so this ng view directive makes this div as a placeholder and based on the routing so what routing does based on the route it will get the connected partial and also the controller used to render that partial it will compile that partial view and it rendered inside this div so we will see how that is going to happen now once this is done we are going to create our partial so let's have one folder to have our partials so we are going to create a folder named as partials and inside this partials as we have discussed earlier we are going to have a main page and we are going to name that page as player list so this is the playerlist.html I am going to remove the default markup being created I will be having a header tag saying list of players and the message we have set 
using the main controller now our partial is ready now we want this partial to be rendered by default by the routing engine so how to do that so now to do that we have to implement routing here so let's do that now in order to implement routing I have to use config function so to get more information please watch the routing video and the same play playlist and to the config function we want to specify the dependency and the dependency we are going to specify is of just a minute so the dependency we are going to specify is of route provider and this route provider is responsible for creating routes for us and also facilitating routing and then we are going to pass anonymous function to this anonymous function we are going to pass the object of route provider service and inside this anonymous function we are going to use route provider object and we are going to use its when method to declare our routes so the first route and the only route currently supporting is the default route so we denote a default route by a slash and then we are going to configure the route and the controller so you specify route by uh, attribute that is template URL so you will be specifying the URL of or the path of that partial so it resides under partials folder and name of the HTML is player list dot HTML and the controller you want to use is main controller so this is the default route we have created and we also have to handle if user enters a route which is not a default route then we have to handle that case as well so now to do that we have otherwise function so inside this function we are going to set redirect to so if there is any other route than default route redirect to the default route so the routing is also done now let's let's have a dry run so what happens when we are going to refresh this page okay you can see the list of players we have defined in our page and main controller is also getting rendered so that means the routing and placeholder is working so what happens when routing sees that group demo app.html is the main page name and it finds a slash so slash is our default route so routing checks which is the template url so it picks player list.html it also picks main controller it compiles both of them to create a view in the browser and that view is rendered so which is this view so this is the basic angular app or basic angular page we have rendered using angular js so this sums up the first part of the video so i hope you like this video and please continue to watch the next parts as well thank